the worth of mortal life without a little chaos. My star has merely been the carrot, and I am the stick. Let the game begin. The Changeling, a trickster, a schemer, and a cult leader. Always present, but never seen. He can take on many faces, all but one. The great God Zeech himself. Excited to see the deceiving horror in action? You can order or share your thoughts below. In the Realm of Chaos campaign, the Changeling starts his journey of deception and disorder in Nordland. And in the Immortal Empires campaign, he begins his scheming in Stirland. The Changeling operates in the shadows and will never overtly hold a settlement, but this does not make him a horde faction. As he isn't tied to a region, he can roam about the map recruiting units from anywhere and is free from all diplomatic penalties from trespassing. His only goals are to scheme and sow chaos while his cult operate obscured within settlements oh, he has won victory over. After winning a settlement, the Changeling can plant hidden trickster cults to the ends of creating disorder in one form or another. There are two types of building chains, symbiotic and parasitic. Symbiotic buildings help the settlement grow and of course, this helps the Changeling at the same time. The better a settlement does, the better you do. Parasitic buildings, on the other hand, cause damage and destruction, rotting the settlement and region from within. So there are a few choices to make. Do you want your host settlement to thrive, slowly die, or have a balanced give and take? For the most part, symbiotic buildings won't cause any real issues for the host settlement, and they can be blissful in their ignorance. They will provide you with fewer cult supplies compared to their parasitic counterparts, but that's the trade-off for remaining in the shadows. Parasitic buildings are more disruptive, upping corruption and lowering control. They also increase the chance of your cult being discovered in a settlement, meaning your cults can be booted out. The Warhammer world is a game board to the Changeling, and everyone in it are his pieces, all unwilling participants in his plots. This is how the Changeling has ultimate victory, by performing the ultimate scheme. But to get there, you need to perform multiple minor and grand schemes. Each Theatre of War has its own set of schemes, all with different goals. Once you complete a minimum of three schemes in a theatre, you will be able to perform the grand scheme for that area. This unlocks a quest battle that you will need to win. Once you have completed three grand schemes, you will be able to unlock the ultimate scheme. Who you fight in this final battle will be determined by which grand scheme you have completed over the course of your campaign. One of the Changeling's greatest tricks is the ability to become anyone he wishes. You unlock new forms by defeating that lord or hero in battle, specific schemes or diplomatic alliances. Once you've chosen which form you wish to take from the lords and heroes you have unlocked, you can transform into them freely in battle, inheriting their strengths and weaknesses. This opens up a huge number of tactical options when planning your grand strategies and will always keep your opponent guessing. Comment which Lord you would take into battle. To order or find out more about the game, check out the links below. Along with the assortment of existing units that the forces of Zeech can access, Shadows of Change brings a few more to the Raven Gods roster. Wherever these wandering wizards go, magic and carnage is sure to follow. The Blue Scribes are the new legendary hero. They are quick and have a nasty assortment of spells to send all running. The Cockatrice is a large, single entity flying monster. All talons, beak and tail, there is no safe place when this winged monstrosity is around. 
an abomination is all there is to be said for this horror. All magic and muscle, the mutilate vortex beast is the last thing many see. The Sangor are rampaging, wielding monsters at heart. With Vanguard deployment, they can cause a lot of damage to the enemy. Echold Hellbrass is your free LC hero with high armor and a love of killing. You will also gain the Regiment of Renown units, the Sour Guts, Shrieking Sky Rays, and Asian the Fallen. We hope you enjoyed this first look at the Changeling, his mechanics, and some of the new units that are coming to the Shadows of Change DLC. Yuan Bo is next in the spotlight, so don't forget to subscribe so you know when that video drops. And if you wish to pre-order or learn more about the Shadows of Change DLC, all the usual links are in the description below.